Hello and welcome back to some more Shen Gen IO. I'm I still don't have the <laughs> manual printed out, which really feels like a bad idea. Like I if, I don't know. I I kinda don't want to though. It's not a good reason, really not, but I don't know. <laughs> Let's just try. Let's just try to keep going as long as we can. All right, two new emails, all the parts. Uh, now that you're up and running, I figure it's safe to let you use all the lovely parts we have available to us. See, that's bad, because I have no idea. Just be warned that not all of them are going to be useful for what you're doing immediately. On you go then, Carl. All right, parts generator. Uh, the product is a diagnostic parts generator, creative working design, blah, blah, blah. Uh, in order to test some of our new manufacturing equipment, we need a parts generator, which with certain requirements, specifications. However, instead of buying one at the market price, I thought we could simply create our own. G. For this project, you will need to make use of conditional execution. Please continue your study of the language reference. All right, where's conditional stuff? Uh, I saw that somewhere last time, I think. Uh, like, like test instructions, I think, is what it was. Where is it? Uh, I don't see it. There's a loop here. Oh, yeah, they're using layers and go to conditional execution. That sounds right. I have the right page open. I hope. Uh, creative working design, sure. All right, we have a button and a parse, and what do we need? Okay, so the button. Don't know how this works. <laughs> Don't know how any of this works. All of these parts are not recommended. So I shouldn't use them, probably. I should use one of those. Is this the one we've been using? Yeah, this is the one we've been using. What does this one look like? Okay, this one has more inputs. X0 and X1. And it has two variables, I guess. Is that right? It's X and that. Second register, right. Do we need two variables for this? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So basically this is the input. So while the input is true, we want this to alternate. Yeah, yeah turn on, on. Yeah, turn on with the button turns on and then alternate with sleep one. Turn on, off, on, off, on, off, off, on, off. Right, that's what this is. Yeah, so I think we just need this guy. Can I move it? I can. Does this go to that? No. Of course not. Oh, but this does go to that. Oh no, it's P2, right. I'm stupid. <laughs> So I guess we can do, is there like a while thing? I probably don't need a while, I just need an if thing. Can I test, can I test inputs, can I do, I think that's test, right? Where's the, where's the reference for that? Uh, can I do this? I guess I can. To, is, there's no there are no parentheses and stuff. So how do I how do I close? Oh, of the plus thing, I guess. Right. Okay. Ah, sweet. So 
if our input button is one, we want to uh, this wants to be a hundred then, right? Yeah. Oh, this is a hundred two, not one. Why is that not? Why does it work again? <laughs> That's not how it works. Is it the other way around? It is the other way around, okay. All right, so what does that do now? So do I need to do the input as well? I thought the input was a, a given. <laughs> ah. Park not sleeping. Bridges do. That's the questions. I can probably like bridge to. I don't know, but I can bridge actually. Get rid of that. A note. What does a note do? Can I just. I mean, I can do comments in the code here. So, how, does, how do I do the input then? for input in this. So do I need to hard code the inputs? Because that's like random, right? It's like sleep free, then turn on for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, then turn off for four, on four. 6 of 4, 5 on 4, 2, 4, 6, 8, 11 of 4, 6. I don't know how this works. <laughs> ah. Reading a value from a pin register would put the corresponding pin into input mode, clearing any previously set output value. used for applications such as connecting a microcontroller to a simple input such as a button switch or microphone or simple outputs such as an LED or speaker or motor. Yeah. But how do I use a button? Push button array controller with supports. Yeah, it's not what I'm working with here. A push button controller. I don't know how to... I'm confused. <laughs> Alright, part not sleeping, so I need to make this part sleep, I guess? Alright, so otherwise it doesn't advance, okay. Alright, that makes sense. But my thing is wrong, why is it wrong? 
Now I get, get an input. So I set my output to 1. Sleep for 1. Set it to 0. Sleep for 1. Oh, because now I'm sleeping down here, which is not what I want. So I need another... What was the most elegant way of doing this? I could just do... I could do this. I'm just wondering, yeah, it's probably a more elegant way of doing this. But it works. Now oh, I beat Chrome. <laughs> My solution uses less power and is cheaper. Lower production cost. Lines of code are the same. Alright, that's I'm fine with that. <laughs> Oh, it's the wrong button. Can I, can I like leave from here now? Yeah, I can. Okay. Yes, looks okay. Suitable for a purpose. G. All right. How much time? Because I also I there's an achievement at least for winning solitaire games. So I think I want to play solitaire in each episode <laughs> until it gets boring or whatever. Uh, take an orbital selfie. Trip start at just. 89,999R, whatever R is. Dear adventurer, experience the starts, the, the stars and the earth as you have never seen them before. Enjoy the surprise and delight of true weightlessness. And of course, take pictures of yourself that nobody will soon forget. Did you know that there has never been a better time to take a trip into low earth orbit? Demand is skyrocketing and prices are cheaper than ever. Now is the time to get in on this trend, which has been popularized by international superstar Cool Dad and many others. Tickets are going fast. JC Space Adventures Moscow. Sure, we'll do it. Where do I do it? How do I do it? I want to go to space. Or to orbit at least. Alright, two new designs, I guess. We'll do the first one first. Uh, light up signs. It begins. I got us an incredible deal with a major esports personality, the Solid Steel Gamer. Her team's contracted uh, with us to make light up signs that actually animate for her fans. As long as we can keep the cost down, they're going to want tons of these to hand out at matches. Looks simple, just a few states. Alright. Okay, click 0 and click 1. A simple outputs connected to display segments corresponding to a clicking animation. Drink zero, drink one, drink two, a simple outputs connected to the display segment is corresponding to a drinking animation. Alright. Control the display segment with fixed repeating signals as indicated in the verification tab. Ugh. <laughs> but that's just the opposite, that should be easy to implement. This should not be that easy. <laughs> uh, so we want this one on, and this one off, and this one on, and then when this one switches off, we want this one to switch on for one, and then we want this one to switch on for two, and then this one again, and then this one again. Complicated. But I guess I can just do... Actually, can I do that? Can I like... Can I do something like this? And do... I keep forgetting the code. <laughs> I need to get more, like, I don't know, more experience with this, just so I don't always have to look up everything. Uh, so it's what? Uh, zero is the first one to be on, so it's like... Uh, 
That's definitely a better way to do this. That's not right even. I mean, that's doing that. But there has to be a uh, more elegant way of doing this for sure, right? Maybe not, actually. Who knows? <laughs> Whatever, we can leave it at that for now. It works, it's fine. The music is very loud today. I don't know why though. Can I? Oh, it's the speed, right? Uh... Yeah, music is way down, but I guess we'll just do something like this. All right, this is still there. Okay, and we have three outputs here, so I definitely need something with three outputs, right? And then this doesn't go to X, right? Yeah, no, it doesn't. Oh, but it has... That's inconvenient. That's very inconvenient. Okay, maybe, maybe actually, let's see. So, for the first six time units, this is one and these two are zero. And then this is zero and this is zero and this is one. And then this is zero, this is zero and this is one. So there, there are always two that are the same. Can I utilize that somehow? No, because it changes, right? It's not two that are always the same. Yeah, these are not recommended, so I'm not even gonna bother with them. And I don't know what bridges do. Maybe I should look up what bridges do. Bridge doesn't exist. What? Oh, I can. Is this what that does? That still doesn't really help me, right? Because I need this one, then zero, zero, then zero, one, zero, and then zero, zero, one. So I could have, you know, this be one and then just do this and have this be zero, but then if I have this one zero, and I turn on the second one, I turn on the third one. Presumably. Do I need more things for that? And they definitely don't connect to the, 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 yeah, the pin doesn't match. Interesting. Don't know what the most elegant solution is then. Because I want to keep production co cost low, so I want to use 
Actually, I wonder if cables cost something. Then I should probably, you know, move everything closer together. Something. I don't even know. Um. I guess this corresponds with this, but this not with that. Otherwise I could use... No, I couldn't really do that anyway. Interesting, not sure what to do. Let's just work on some stuff, I guess, and see. So we'll do... That. And then sleep for about six units. And then sleep for, is it six? One, two, three, four, five, six, and then it's four. both in one no yeah this one needs to be an extra one I guess just put this whatever I think at least this needs to be extra can I ah you go up here for now, we'll worry about being efficient later, if at all. So here we want to sleep for six as well. Then turn on first one, sleep for one, turn it off. Turn this one on, then sleep for two, and then turn them around again. Like this. And then sleep for one, and then Oh, out of, I'm out of lines here? No! Because <laughs> I can't turn this one off now. If I don't get more lines than that, I mean, I could use the big one, I guess. I need to sleep for six, that has to be there, right? And then do this one on, sleep. I turn it off to the other one on, sleep for two. That is frustrating. Be short one line.
I don't know what else I could do to set. I don't see a way to save a step here, a line here, basically. It's time to wrap this up. If I put this one there, would that make a difference? I could do right here. Is it a sleep four for the one in, four in between? I sleep one. And I do. That sleep for two, sleep for one. Would that do it? Cannot run it if this is disconnected. That's lame. <laughs> uh, I need to re yeah, get rid of all of this. Sleep for six, turn it on. Sleep for one, turn it off. Sleep for two. Oops. Turn it on, that's actually right. better ways of doing it but Chrome didn't find one <laughs> so I'm okay I'm okay with that haha <laughs> the end result looks great I love the way it looks like the sorry seal gamer is really clicking the mouse button and drinking her soda this is going to be huge <laughs> bring out the Baron saying stuff better rubbish audio thing I don't care about any of that we're doing one quick round of sorry tear hopefully quick we'll see we might just struggle a lot. <laughs> That's the uh, the alternative outcome of this. Lots of dragons, but no good way of getting rid of them. Two, three, where's the fourth one here? Uh, one, two. That was actually not smart. That was a really stupid move. Why did I do that? I wanted this to be free, not kill scene even more. And I have a nine on top of it that I can't get rid of. That was a mistake. We might not be able to win this one. I can put this away, then this would go away. Then I have a six here, which I can't do much with. Get into those two, because this one is buried even deeper. I can't get to that at all right now. I need to free up a, a slot down here somewhere. I'm contemplating which one to attempt to get open. I could put this here and the three and then the two and then the three and the two back down, for example. Could I get a four that's not red? Oh, this even goes away, right? It's even better. Am I out of moves if I do this? Not quite, but almost. <laughs> I 
I put this up here, I can't actually get rid of anything because I have this stupid dragon up here and I can't get the free down. Uh, three, four. Yeah, I think I messed this up by that one move, that one move, or maybe even just putting that up there. <laughs> if I put the five here, then the those dragons are exposed, but I can't put them anywhere because all of these are filled. Um, if I put this one up instead, then I can get the three back down, and then four and three over here. But I don't have a six. Six is here. This might be unwinnable from this state on, at least. Probably wasn't from the beginning. I'm still trying to find a way. I think it's putting dragons up there is not a good move. <laughs> if I put this up here, then I can the free goes away. I can't put that green five anywhere, because I don't have any sixes. this one up here and the rose is gonna go away and I have a six. It's not even the rose, the flower. And then the six can't go anywhere because I don't have any sevens. If I put this one up here, I can't do anything. Put the five up there. I have the dragons exposed but I can't put the five or the three back down. If I put this one up, it doesn't help. If I put this one up, I can do this. But I still don't have a spot for the... Yeah, I think I, I screwed that up. Sixes out. I, do I still have valid moves? It doesn't feel like I do. Does it not end if I don't have any moves left? It doesn't even feel like I have any nonsensical moves I can make here. Maybe it doesn't end when you're out of moves. seem like a good move now in hindsight because I don't have any spots open anymore which is bad all right let's think about all of this I need to get to the ones
this might be a Vinnabur. <laughs> it really, it really should be Vinnabur, I think, from where I'm at. This is not ideal, uh, but we just need to open up spaces. That's the wrong eight, unfortunately. We can do this. as achievement for 10. All right, so that's it for this episode of Shenzhen IO. Uh, yeah, I'm not super happy with what I'm doing yet, but we're getting there, we're getting there. Um, that's it for today. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.